Well, hello, America, and welcome to the uh, program. There is there is so much to cover today just on the front page of uh, theblaze.com that uh, I don't even know where to start. Do we have Mike Rowe on today? What time is Mike going to be on? We're targeting hour three. I don't know if it's confirmed yet, though. <clears throat> okay, put him on at the top of the hour three if we yeah. can get him. Mm-hmm. Um, he's out west, right? That's right. He's so. out west. So he's like, <laughs> I'm sleepy. <laughs> Come on, man. There's a sewer calling your name. Um, but uh, Mike Rowe didn't mince any words when he published an open letter defending his appearance on this broadcast. Um, <clears throat> Mike Rowe is the um, uh, the guy who did dirty jobs. And uh, so much more. He's a wildly accomplished man and uh, and a good, decent man. And he was on our program, and we got along fine. He's also been on Bill Maher. But, of course, the left came out and said, how could you possibly be on Glenn Beck's program? He is a dirtbag. He is evil. He's all these kinds of things. <clears throat> Mike responded on his Facebook page. And if you haven't read his Facebook page and the other people that are responding as well, it's pretty remarkable. And I'm happy to say and proud to say most of the stuff that I read last night, I I saw it about 10 o'clock last night. Mike wrote to me and he said, the fog is drifting in from over the Golden Gate Bridge. And I apparently have stuck a stick into a bee's nest. Good. Um, and, uh, uh, so I got online and I started reading them and I'm happy to say the supporters of ours were generally kind to the person who was quite honestly a bigot and, uh, and foolish. I mean, Mike's response is how are we ever going to solve anything if we can't talk to people that we supposedly disagree with or others disagree with? How is that possible? And the answer is, you can't. You can't solve anything. And that is the idea behind Sololinsky. Isolate people. Make them a pariah. Make sure no one talks to them. If you can isolate people, you win. Because then anybody who disagrees with you has no credibility whatsoever and no friends and therefore no influence whatsoever. That's Sololinsky. And it's not America. It's just not America. You know, not once did I say to to, uh, Mike Rowe, how could you possibly go on Bill Maher? I didn't say that to him. That's his business. I don't even think I asked him what Bill Maher was like. I don't really care. So he's on Bill Maher. Good for you. Now, I found out Bill Maher gave him a check. I think. I I don't know. That's what I heard in some of the... Um, <clears throat> responses we'll have to ask.